welcome family, friends, teachers, and special guests. Thank you for continuing your support for all of us and celebrating this special night with us. Tonight is the night. It's our night. The class of 2015, we made it. We've studied hard and waited many years in anticipation of this day. Merriam Webster defines graduation as the act of receiving a diploma or degree. But for all of us ending our high school career tonight, it's so much more. Graduation is a time to reflect on memories and celebrate our academic accomplishments. Graduation is a time to reflect on memories and, and past and look forward to the future. It's the time to tackle new experiences head on with the lessons learned in life this far. Tonight we make history in Bacon County as the first graduating class at the new Bacon County High School football field. There are so many, there are so many other things that we've done to make history here and now it's our time to make history somewhere else. I have faith in all of you that you will make your own mark in the next chapter of your life. Whether you make your mark on one person or the whole world, we can do it. Rob Stilantin once said, people who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones who do. I spent 12 years with all of you and I do believe you are crazy enough to change the world. So class of 2015, as we leave here tonight, go out and be crazy. Experience the world. Change someone's life. Make memories every day. Do the things you love. Find your passion. Get out of your comfort zone. Don't be afraid of what others will think. Be bold, be proud, and be you. I love you guys. Please stand and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance and the prayer. Yeah. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Let us pray. Dear Lord, I ask that you shine your light of guidance on all of us as we get ready to embark on the next chapter of our life. Thank you for allowing everyone to be here tonight in celebration of our graduation. Thank you for all the blessings you've exerted to each and every one of us through our years of high school and allowing us to make it to this point in our life. Lord, we give you thanks for our parents, guardians, teachers, and friends who encouraged us, counseled us, and always extended a helping hand when needed. Thank you for giving us the determination to succeed and finish high school. I ask that we keep that determination through the rest of our lives. For those who have not yet decided what they want to do, I pray that you help them find their passion and true calling through you and help all of us achieve our dreams and plans. Father, I pray that you give us humility through our success and strength through our failures. Let us not forget where we came from. Please give our family and friends the strength to make it through this milestone and know that they will always be in our hearts wherever we may go. Lord, let us have joy in knowing that we have made it this far and that you have so much more in store for each of us. Lord, please protect everyone as we leave here tonight and go our separate ways. I pray that you always be a strong light in all of our lives. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Miss Julie Taylor, Assistant Principal, Bradley County Elementary School. 
Mr. Chuck Woodall, Assistant Principal Braden County Middle School, Dr. Daryl Ellis, Assistant Principal Braden County High School, Mr. Mark Cohen, Chairman of Braden County School Board, Ms. Casey Star Fairley, District 2, Braden County School Board, Mr. Dan Taylor, District 3, Braden County School Board, Mr. Vance Burkett, District 4, Braden County School Board, Ms. Martha Lee, District 5, Braden County School Board, Mr. Leroy Hayes, District 6, Braden County School Board, Ms. Eve Thomas, Assistant Superintendent of the Creek County, Ms. Jana Merritt, Director of Teacher Support, Mr. Andy Huffo, Chairman of Braden County Board of Commissioners, Mr. Larry Smith, Member of Braden County Board of Commissioners, Mr. John Thomas, Member of Braden County Board of Commissioners, Mr. Lee Hagan, Member of Braden County Board of Commissioners, Mr. Roy King, Member of Braden County Board of Commissioners, Mr. Bill Johnson, Braden County Tax Commissioner, Mr. Richard Trosky, Chair, Ms. Peggy Murphy, Mayor Alma, Mr. Jerry Sweat, City Council Member, Ms. Bernita Lewis, City Council Member, Mr. John Hughes, City Council Member, Mr. Joe Boatwright, Chief Magistrate, Ms. Sherry Tillman, Clerk of Court, Chief Warrant Officer Christopher Martin. Thank you. If you are a parent, sibling, family or friend, teacher, administrator, or community leader, I'd like to ask you to stand at this time. Class of 2015, take a good look around you. By the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, working through these people, we are here today. Let's give him a round of applause. Earlier this year, at the end of my senior softball season, I posted some thoughts about closing a chapter in my life. As I read back through what I had written, a single statement stood out. Uh, it read, My coaches had taught me leadership, perfect effort, and responsibility. As I look back on our time here at BCHS, I realized that these characteristics written in a random post were not only relevant to coaches, but to every aspect of our high school career. That qualities of leadership and responsibility have come from high expectations of our teachers, coaches, and administration. And that the manifestation of our skills and training will only come with perfect effort. These are the qualities of character that were demanded by great examples. People will come and go from our lives, but the ones that we remember, the ones who write a permanent history on our hearts, the ones that give us these qualities of character, the ones who selflessly show us the way, will forever guide our decisions of life. Think about it. Her smile would light up any room. She taught me that there were no circumstances in life that could defeat or destroy me, and that faith, hope, and love cover all. She taught me that there was no such thing as giving up. She taught me that learning was for life. These modest examples are only small pieces of what Miss Teresa Sermons gave me. You see, she was offering us everything she had. And in a sense, we didn't realize it. So the question I offer you is this. Are we going to sacrifice everything we have to be the same lot, the same teacher, and the same great example? So let's be real. High school isn't about having the most friends, having the nicest clothes, or scoring the most points. The reality has been, whether we've seen it or not, our time here has taught us to figure out things on our own, to be responsible, how to earn knowledge, whether by failure or perfect effort, how to make classmates into teammates, and teammates into family. We've won together and we've lost together. We've laughed together and we've cried together. But we have loved each other through it all. Now, we have arrived at this very moment, some by coasting and some by sliding in sideways. And I leave you with this. Find your passion and follow it with all of your heart. Never give up, no matter how hard the storm is in your life. And know that you will not find peace in the pursuit of money or material things, 
but by using the tools you have been given, you have the ability to write your own chapter of history and to change the world. The ball is in your court. Don't screw it up. friends, family, administrators, and graduates, welcome. I'm deeply honored to be standing before you today and proud to say that we finally made it. Four short years ago, we entered the halls of the old Bacon County High School, unsure of what the next four years would hold for us. As the years progressed, we found that Bacon County High and the teachers that filled it had more to offer us than we could imagine. Mr. McLean basically crushed about 50% of the class's dreams of becoming pharmacists because he was certain that robots were going to take over the world. Senora Tyron assured us that you can dance and sing to any kind of music that gets your spirits up, even if you're not exactly sure what you're singing when it's in a language you have no understanding of. Ms. Carter stressed to us every day that we would indeed use all of the unbelievably useless vocabulary that she taught us. And Ms. Forday never let us forget that even though we thought we were smart, AP Calculus would definitely make us reconsider that. Bacon County High has left us with both many memories and many mental breakdowns. But it's now time for our journey to end. As we leave here tonight, after all the celebration and pomp and circumstance, we begin the next chapter of our lives. In just a few short moments, we will receive our diplomas, cry a little, and embark on a journey to the rest of our lives. The sad conclusion to tonight is that after the lights dim on this field, many of us will never see each other again. The happy conclusion is that we can live here knowing that we've been taught and we have been given the opportunity to create greatness in our lives and in our world. Some of us will go to college, some will proudly serve in the military, and some will go straight into the workforce. Whatever it is you decide to do, do it with the best of your ability. Give it everything you have and strive to be the best version of yourself that you can be. God has given us each a talent and each talent is a gift from Him. But what you do with your talent is your gift back to God. Don't let your talents, abilities, and passions fade away throughout the upcoming years. Embrace your talents and use them wholeheartedly. Class of 2015, your future is in your hands now. After we leave here tonight, the shape of our futures will be determined by the decisions that each of us make. Either we lead our world into the future, or we sit back and allow the future to be decided by others. The key to us helping our world become prosperous and well-rounded is leadership. Proverbs 11.14 states, Where there is no guidance, the people fall. But in abundance of counselors, there is victory. 
In today's society, leadership is what is the key to the success in our world. With a world and society that is stricken with poverty, governmental corruption, chaos, death, wars, and natural disasters, it is counting on our generation to pull us into an improved world. It's up to us to lead and shape the future of the world we live in, but many people think they are incapable of this because they aren't in a leadership position. This is far from the truth. Leaders are not always those with the highest position, status, or salary. Leaders are instead those who influence the actions and behaviors of others. According to, the, to John Maxwell, one of the nation's most well-renowned leadership experts, your influence starts when you become a 360 degree leader. According to Maxwell, a 360 degree leader leads from all perspectives of his or her life. He leads up, he leads down, and he leads across. One who leads up leads those who are above him or of higher status. One who leads down leads those who are ranked below them, and one who leads across leads their peers and colleagues. A leader is not any certain person. A leader is not defined by the way he or she understands and organizes a group, nor by age and qualification, but instead how he or she interacts with the group in order to help them achieve certain values and perspectives that will prosper them. In the book of 1 Timothy, Paul, who is known to be one of the greatest leaders in the Bible, writes a letter to Timothy about the influence that Timothy has as a leader of the church. In 1 Timothy 4.12, Paul states, Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. In other words, just because you are young does not mean you are incapable of being sufficient leaders. Your action and words have the potential to structure you into being the great leaders I know you are all capable of being. With hard work, determination, and the will to help others, your potential to become a great leader is at your fingertips. But it's up for you to decide whether you want to be a good leader or a bad leader. There are leaders who lead the group into prosperity and well-being, then there are leaders who lead others into a path of destruction and chaos. As leaders of our generation, it is up to us to lead others into a time of prosperity and greatness. Class of 2015, I challenge you to strive to be the greatest leaders our world has ever seen. We are the generation that America is counting on to push us into the future and help reinstill those founding biblical and ethical principles that has made America the greatest nation in the world. Class of 2015, go out and achieve the greatness I know you all have full of being. Be leaders, be achievers, be innovators, and be whatever you want to be. Do what you love and love what you do. Follow your heart and chase your dreams. If you want to be the next LeBron, be the next LeBron. If you want to be the next CEO of Apple, be the next CEO of Apple. If you want to be the next American Idol, be the next American Idol. If you want to be the next president of the United States, be the next president of the United States. After all, your boundaries are limitless. But if there's one thing I hope you take from here today, it is this verse from 1 Corinthians, which states, Whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. Whatever you decide to do in the upcoming years, do it for the glory of the one who gave you the talents and abilities to do whatever it is you choose. To close, I would like to thank the many people who played the key roles in getting me where I am today. To start, I would like to thank, say thank you to my mom and dad. I was so blessed to be your daughter and I cannot thank either of you enough for constantly pushing me to be the greatest I can be in whatever I do. Thank you for never, never giving up on that strong-willed, opinionated, blonde, and curly-headed little girl, because I know that was a hard task all in itself. Thank you for giving me a strong faith-based set of morals to carry with me for the rest of my life. You two will never know how grateful I am for all that you have sacrificed for me. I love you both more than you'll ever know. Libby, thank you for being my rock, my laugh, my shoulder to cry on my best friend, and my occasional punching bag when things got rough for me. Thank you for your endless support and your sometimes harsh but well-intended opinions. Thank you for being more of an older sister to me than a younger. I love you. I would also like to thank the four blessings that I get to call grandparents. Nana, Papa, Nana, and Poppy. Words cannot describe how thankful I am to have such supportive and loving grandparents like yourselves. From being my number one fan on the field to my support system through the rough patches that seemed to come with my senior year, you four have been beyond great. You have been my rocks, and I love you. I would also like to thank all of the administrators, teachers, coaches that never gave up on me throughout the years. 
You have all managed to shape and prepare me for the road that lies ahead, no matter what the circumstance was. And you also managed to give me the occasional mental breakdown. Uh, your dedication to teaching me to be the best I can be and strive for greatness is one of the main reasons I'm standing here today. Your influence, guidance, and support will go with me through the rest of my life. A big thank you to the class of 2015. You guys have been the craziest, loudest, most spirited, supportive, and best senior class that has gone through this halls. Well, we've been the only ones, but I think it's safe to say that we set the bar pretty high. I'm honored to be part of this amazing class and it's truly been the greatest years of my life. Last but certainly not least, all of the glory, praise, and honor goes to God. He has poured out blessings beyond blessings to me over the last 17 years, none of which I deserve. He is the ultimate reason I stand before you today. All the glory goes to Him. As I step back, I look amongst the class of 2015, and I can honestly say that I see greatness in a bright future that I know lies ahead of us. Thank you for this amazing journey. It's been one great ride. Dr. Lane Rickard, I present to you the 2015 candidates for graduation for Bacon County High School. Catherine Brooke Vonier. Madison Jane Taylor. Brooklyn Leanne Wade. Haley Louise Johns. Kayla Jenna Sears. Dalton Edward Allman. Callie Nicole Anderson. Jacob George Carter. Dorian Xavier Cole. Sierra Danielle Davis. Sarah Julissa Gonzalez. Alexander Gray Goodson. River Lee Helton. Austin Jack Hester. Jesse Ray Gerard. Ashton Joy Kite. Araceli Landaverde. Carter McCoy Lee. Jackson Robert Miles. James Dillon Miles. Jordan Tyler Moore. Chastity Renee Rogers. Yeah! 
Sydney Lee Street. Sweat. Sorry. Austin Derek Taylor. Matthew Ryan Taylor. Leah Marie Turner. Sydney Jordan Alterane. Franklin Ethan Boatwright. Matthew Brenton Crosby. Michael Anthony Dixon. Ashley J. Giles. Alexandra Lynn Jordan. Ashlyn Rebecca Jordan. Savannah Lynn Leslie. Corey Andrew Martin. Kiyur Rajesh Patel. Alexandria Storm Pruitt. Sarah Jordan Ramsdale. Michael Hilarion Restepo. Mary Paxton Sellers. Tyler Wayne Bonadoy. Clayton David Adams. Brittany Tatum Barber. Devontae Ligarius Fashion. Kiaria Dashe Batten. Bobby Franklin Boatwright. Jessalyn Keeley Boatwright. Presley Caroline Boatwright. Brooke Lee Bowers. Javante Tyricus Branson. Christopher Ryan Brown. Kobe Gage Brown. Erica Elizabeth Brown. Angelicia Marcelina Brown. Marina Star Kane. Christopher Blake Carter. Gunner Jeffrey Carter. Savannah Lucille Carter. Alan Clyde Kaysen. Emily Michelle Champion. Kevin Lee 
champion. Riker Zane Chasen. Daniel Lee Cooley. Lindsay Denise Cawthorn. Julie Ann Cribb. Leonard Harold Crosby. Philip Trenton Crosby. Luis Antonio Cruz. Jared Austin Dean. Esmeralda Diaz. Glenn Howard Dobbins. D'Angela Dolores Ellerby. William Mack Erskine. Nige Nicole Evans. Anthony Dante Florence. Katron Nigel Folsom. Jackson Pinkney Foster. Josie Kaylin Fulton. Mercedes Nicole Giddens. Rosara Gonzalez. Drill Kiar Green. Victoria Leanne Hallford. Caritha Melissa Hamilton. Brittany Nicole Hardwick. Stephen Ward Harrison. Jamie Ashton Hendren. Riley Joe Hilton. Kristen Victoria Holton. Kurt Kyle Ivy. Katie Lane Jackson. Sabah Jaquan Jackson. Pamela Shalikia Jenkins. Amber Nicole Johnson. Devin Shane Johnson. Jocelyn Nicole Johnson. Lane Chandler Johnson.
Zachary Ryan Jordan. Justin Wayne King. Tiffany Nicole Lee. Tyler David Lee. Faith Elizabeth Lewis. Loretta Annette Martin. Mallory Lee Martin. Matthew Caleb Lane Martin. Nicholas Trey Martin. Carly Shay McDaniel. Tyler Garrett Moore. Precious Octavia Parrish. Thomas Graham Peacock. Terry Latrell Peters. <laughs> Tamaya Akisha Peterson. <laughs> Jeremiah Thomas Register. Devin Tucker Rowland. Cyrus Payson Arkell Sams. Logan Ariel Sandiford. Kirsten Shay Sellers. <laughs> Ronnie Rachel Cyphers. <laughs> Destiny Danielle Smith. Kylie Renee Smith. <laughs> Jeremy Cortez Snow. <laughs> Isaiah Julian Staten. <laughs> Justine Raven Stevens. Jamie Scott Taylor. Miranda Jan Taylor. Matthew Blake Taylor. Marissa Renee Taylor. Rosa Marie Taylor. Kaylin Brianna Thomas. Josh Edmund 
Thrift. Solomon Dwight Tillman. Raquel Nicole Vaughn. Shailen Renee Whitley. Tamara Janae Wilcox. Tyra Lee Wilcox. Jasmine Lachey Williams. Nathan Michael Williams. Trevor Eric Williams. Daniel Richard Youngblood. Jasmine Bianca Green. Christiana Renee Edwards. By the powers vested in me by the Bacon County Board of Education and the Georgia Board of Education, I proclaim you graduates of Bacon County High School.
pray, uh, I'd like to invite all the guests to make sure they stay for the Blueberry Festival this weekend. At this time, let's pray. Father, I just thank you for the graduates and the families that are represented here today. I ask that you give a special blessing to them, and I pray that you will always have them seek your guidance and wisdom in the decisions that are upcoming. For ask these things in Jesus' name, amen. Crowd and it fills my soul. My best friends all here in Rome. No turning back now, it's time to walk that line. This tassel is gonna turn, but when the moment passes by, we'll just walk away, then slowly grow apart. But I'm not gonna cry. Not a one sad or happy tear well, I've waited my whole life Now I'm gonna fly right out of here oh, It's a bittersweet goodbye but I'm not gonna cry no. Friday night, football games First loves and first heartbreaks It didn't matter who won or lost Only how we played the Memories as good as gold Tearing up those mountain roads Racing out 53 to old Georgia town. Sure, we've made a little trouble, but learned from every mistake. So there's no regret. We've done the best we could. So I'm not gonna cry. No. Not a one sad or happy tea. I've waited my whole life Now I'm gonna fly right out of here These have been the best years of my life So I'm not gonna cry It's been a long and winding journey We've lost a few along the way Still we've hung in there through the tribulations Now it's time to celebrate It's our graduation day, yeah So I'm not gonna cry Been the best day of my life, so I'm not gonna cry. It's a bittersweet goodbye. I'm not gonna cry.
let it go. Let it roll right off your shoulder, don't you know? The hardest part is over. Let it in. Let your clarity define you in the end. We will only just remember how it feels. Our lives are made. Feel it all.